All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Welcome to Naked Training with the Naked Sailor. All right, check it out. So, I know my mom needs to progress from her rehabilitation exercises into a more specific uh, movement exercise. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this available not only to my mother, but obviously anybody else that wants to check it out and utilize this for success to get super ripped, right? And super strong. Okay, so basically what we're gonna do is the basic human movements, right? It's up down, we're gonna do quad dominant up down, hip dominant up down, and spinal dominant up down. We're gonna do push, pull, twist, and locomotion, right? Locomotion is getting from point A to point B. So we'll start with number one. Now, know this, these exercises can be performed two to three times per week. It's probably best to have about 24 hours in between each session, right? If you're a beginner, you're probably only gonna do one round, at the most, three rounds. If you're intermediate, you're probably gonna do four rounds, at the most, six rounds. If you're advanced, you're gonna do seven to nine rounds. And if you are elite, you better be doing nine to 12 rounds of this ish, right? So, you make sure you do a warm up before you start. I already did my warm up, I'm ready to go. <laughs> right, and then make sure you're doing recovery. There's a lot of recovery that you need to do afterwards. If you wanna contact me, contact Innovative Results Blog. It's gonna be at personaltrainerorangecounty.com slash blog, or when we get the domain up, innovative-results.com backslash or slash blog, okay? So, without further ado, number one. So number one is gonna be a little bit easier, right? Just a little bit easier than number two, and number three gets a little harder, and then number four is like the hardest one, right? So I'm gonna do number one first for you, it's right here. We're starting with a squat. Everything is done for 20 seconds, right? Except for the locomotion, I'll let you know the breakdown there. So, squat is simple. You want the majority of the weight on your heels. You want your feet flat on the deck. And you're gonna drop your butt, right? And keep your torso up. If you don't know how to do it that well, we're the naked trainer. Naked means there's nothing that we're gonna use but what's in our environment. So what's in our environment? Well, I see a chair here, I see a couple water bottles that I can drink. So, you can use this chair for your squat, up or down and up, down and up. Until you don't need that crutch anymore and you can do it properly, down and up, without the chair, okay? So again, that's 20 seconds you're gonna perform that, right? And then straight into a deadlift. So now we're at hip dominant. That was quad dominant, this is hip dominant. So the deadlift, I'm just gonna slide down my legs. Notice my back is nice and straight, right? That natural curvature until it's straight, but right before it bends, I don't want it to bend, right? I don't want it to bend. I want it right before it bends, and then I'm gonna come right back up. Again, deadlift down, right back up. 20 seconds, right? If you're advanced, you're down and up. Down and up, as fast as you can. Boom, moving into the next exercise, right? Next exercise will be a crunch. Right, I'll come way back here so you can see it. You're gonna lay back flat on the ground. You can have legs up, legs down, hands up, hands behind your head, hands in front of your chest, doesn't matter. All I want you to do is reduce the distance from your sternum to your pubic bone, right here, and then come back. Right here, and come back. Right, 20 seconds of that. As fast as you're able to, as fast as you are able to, okay? Now, we got the push, right? So we're just gonna do a basic push-up, right? Which is down, right? Back is straight, in line with the legs, feet are together, feet are apart, whatever's more comfortable, and all the way down, create 90, back up. If you need to, drop to your knees, right? But you gotta keep the leg and upper torso aligned, if that's even hard, right? You probably shouldn't be doing these exercises yet, you should be working with a professional, but if you are going to, stick your butt out a little bit. Come down, strengthen that pec, strengthen those triceps, then start doing it correctly. <clears throat> okay, now, we got the pull. So what do I have around me? Well, I got these water bottles. So I'm gonna utilize these water bottles, right there, how heavy are they? They're 50 fluid ounces, 
right? So about 50 ounces is, well, I don't know, figure that out poundage wise. They're a couple of pounds, right? So I'm gonna bend down, right? And I'm gonna row it up. And I'm just gonna row as fast as I can because that's the only way I'm gonna get some resistance with these little lightweight water bottles. You can go heavier, you can go gallon jugs, right? That's eight pounds and go up from there. <clears throat> okay, now into the twist, right? Torso twist, real simple, right? Squat down, butt low, chest up high, and I'm just gonna rotate, slight rotations. You don't wanna go to the, dis the total capacity of your spine, right? You just wanna go a little bit so you can flex the abs, flex the obliques, flex that back to get it right back to the other way. Back and forth, back and forth, as fast as you can. Hike, hike, hike. You should sort of take your breath away and make you flex your abs, right? And then last but not least, you're gonna do a run, walk, run for the locomotion. So this is how it's gonna go. A 20 second run, a 20 second walk, and then a 20 second run. If you're just starting out and that's too hard, make it opposite. A 20 second walk, and then a 20 second run, and then a 20 second walk, right? And that is one round. And then you'll go back to the very beginning and do it all over again for the second round, third round, eighth round, whatever level you are at. This is Naked Training with the Naked Sailor, and I'm affiliated with Innovative Results. I will see you at the next workout.